if Nam the Kanu is not careful, he may regret ever establishing the Eastern Security Network. Mwadeke claims. There is a popular saying that one of the dangers of creating a monster is that one day it will attack its owner if care is not taken. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, kind of formed a security outfit known as Eastern Security Network, and many people have commended him and busy clapping their hands. Why the motive of forming the group may be right, but I want to say here that if Namde Kano is not very careful, the Eastern Security Network he formed may become a disaster to humanity. Regulating activities of a security unit and their operatives are very delicate, and one must trade with care. It is even worse when they have been given guns. Their activities must be properly monitored, else they would divert from the objective of the group. They confronted the Nigerian army in Olo recently, and evidently they will be feeling untouchable right now. Their morale is high, and I hope it does not blind their focus. This question bothered me each time I think of the Eastern Security Network. Thank you for listening to this news. My dear, it shouldn't bother you because this group of security network is different. Yeah, very, very different from what you are actually thinking of. Okay. Um, a lot of security outfits do have um, have as misbehaved, just like you said. Many of them as as uh, betrayed the their leader, and then um, they have actually done what you actually said. But this very one is formed through the selection of different of different people from different um, country it, they are not all selected in one country they were carefully selected and you know these people you see here did what is called voluntary devotion they devoted themselves voluntarily to pursue this achievement because it's paining, it's paining them that their own states, their own uh, republic is being denied from them. This is a republic that uh, that was in existence. I, I said it before that the Igbos were living together before, not until the amalgamation. So now that the Igbos have said. They want to go back to how they were before. So why can't they grant it, grant it to them? Why are they denying it, denying them of it? And who said that they don't have the right to achieve Biafra? So these people you see here were not just selected. They were selected based on their interest. They voluntarily um, choose to be a member they voluntarily gave themselves as a sacrifice to fight for the people if you say their morale will be going up yeah it has to because our nigerian soldiers have made themselves a laughing stock they made themselves a laughing stock the almighty nigerian soldier being defeated twice to the extent they have to deploy Air Force and the fighter jets. Can you imagine? So what are we saying? What are we talking about? So let us just tell ourselves the truth without wasting much time. 
See, now the canoe is on the right track. Very much on the right track. I don't know what you're thinking, but this is what I think. This is what I observe. This is what I believe. And this is what I keep believing. This is what I keep believing. I know a lot of persons like yourself has said a lot about Nnamdi Khan. But without making a proper finding of what he has just done. Okay, look at what uh, the Odua People's Congress have just said. The Odua People's Congress said that they, were, they, they praised the, 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 the security outfit set up in the southwest, saying that soon it's going to be a thing of the past in southwest because through the help of the security outfit they set up. So they went on to to call on the Southeast governors, telling them to support Eastern Security Network so that together these hoodlums are going to be set out once and for all. You see that? You know what even boom around me is that what even demoralized me a little is that the southwest people are even showing support and concern for the eastern security network and our own evil leaders evil governments our evil brothers cannot even do that it's a shame just because of what they're going to eat that will soon finish hmm? you see that so are you going to say that we are on the right track that is the Buari and East Eid and our Igbo brothers are on the right track we have been made mockery of we have been made full of and we allowed ourselves to be to be to to, to, to we allow that to be done to us we allow that to be done to us it's a disgrace I tell you, a complete one. Why? Why and what's the reason? What's the reason? The Eastern Security Network was formed under the law of self-defense. I said before and I'll keep saying it again. So whether the Nigerian government likes it or not, it has been recognized. Because we will not just fold our hands and watch our people brutalized like chickens. Look at through the help of the Eastern Security Network, insecurity in the Southeast by by Fulani Stooge, call themselves Fulani headsmen, and now and 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 now a forgotten thing. Since the presence of the Eastern Security Network in the in the in the forest, we've not heard anything about them. I know that this little fight with the, the Eastern Security Network had with the um, Nigerian army will go round. We go round and everyone will hear about it and that is what I want. That's what I want to hear. I love it. I love it. Let it go round. Let the world know about it. Let the world hear about it that this is what they did to the Nigerian army. So, my dear viewers, what is your take on this news? Do me free to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.